Right now, your kidneys are filtering 200 quarts of blood daily while silently losing function. You won't feel a thing until 70% of their capacity is permanently destroyed. But ever wonder why seemingly healthy people suddenly need dialysis when they swear they felt fine just months before? Today, I'll explain what sugar does to your kidneys and what happens when you quit for 30 days like you're 5 years old. By the end, you'll understand why kidney damage is called the silent killer and whether one month without sugar could reverse years of damage before it's too late. Here's the terrifying part about kidney damage. It doesn't hurt. There's no chest pain like a heart attack, no throbbing ache like a broken bone. Your kidneys can lose up to 70% of their function before you feel a single symptom. It's like your phone battery dying, but the percentage display is frozen at 80% until suddenly it shuts off completely. By the time you notice swelling in your feet or feel constantly exhausted, you're already in kidney failure territory. That's why over 37 million Americans have chronic kidney disease, and most don't even know it yet. So what's actually happening inside your body when you eat sugar? Every time you down a soda or eat a donut, your blood glucose spikes hard and fast. Your kidneys have to filter all that excess sugar out of your bloodstream while trying to keep the good stuff in. Imagine working at a sorting facility when the conveyor belt suddenly speeds up to triple speed. That's your kidneys on sugar, struggling to keep up with the flood. Sugar causes inflammation in the tiny filtering units called nephrons. You've got about a million of them in each kidney. Think of nephrons like coffee filters that, once damaged, don't heal or regenerate. You just have fewer working filters for the rest of your life. Here's where it turns into a death spiral. Sugar raises your blood pressure by making your blood thicker and stickier. Your heart has to pump harder while your blood vessels get stiff and narrow, and your kidneys get pounded by high-pressure blood flow that damages them even more. Damaged kidneys can't regulate blood pressure properly, which raises your blood pressure higher, which damages your kidneys worse. The system eats itself alive, and you feel nothing until it's too late. Now, here's what nobody tells you. Give your kidneys 30 days without sugar, and they start healing in ways you can actually measure. Days 1 through 3 are brutal. Headaches that feel like your brain is trying to escape through your forehead. Irritability where everything annoys you. Cravings so strong you'll find yourself staring into your fridge at 2 a.m. like it might magically produce a candy bar. This isn't weakness, it's genuine withdrawal from an addictive substance. But here's where it gets interesting. By day 4 to 7, something shifts. Your blood sugar levels start stabilizing instead of riding a roller coaster all day. That 3 p.m. crash where you need coffee or a snack just to stay conscious? That afternoon energy crash completely disappears. Your inflammation markers drop because your body isn't constantly fighting the sugar assault anymore. Your kidneys get their first real break in years. It's like finally getting a day off after working triple shifts for months straight. Week two is when people start noticing real changes. You're sleeping deeper and actually waking up refreshed instead of hitting snooze five times. That's a direct sign your kidneys are filtering waste properly again. When your kidneys are overwhelmed, Toxins build up in your blood and mess with your sleep cycle, your energy, your brain function. One person dropped 4 pounds in 48 hours just from stopping sugar. That's not fat loss. That's water retention disappearing because their kidneys could finally do their job. By week 3 to 4, the actual numbers start changing. Blood pressure drops into normal range without medication. A1C levels improve. That's your three-month blood sugar average. Some people see protein disappear from their urine, which is a huge deal because protein in urine means your kidney filters are leaking. One person lost 53 pounds over six months, dropped their A1C nearly a full point, normalized their blood pressure, and eliminated their sleep apnea. Another person went from an A1C of 12, full diabetic range, down to 5.3, which is completely normal. They went from needing a cane to walking three to five miles every single day. Now let's be clear about what we're talking about here. Added and refined sugars. The stuff hiding in soda, candy, bread, pasta sauce, salad dressing, and basically everything in the middle aisles of the grocery store. We're not talking about the natural sugars in a whole apple or berries. Fruit comes packaged with fiber that slows down absorption so your kidneys don't get slammed. Your body evolved to handle fruit. It absolutely did not evolve to handle 77 grams of added sugar per day, which is what the average American eats. That's 19 teaspoons in one day, every single day. Here's what you need to understand about the distinction between types of sugar. An apple has about 19 grams of sugar, but it also has 4 grams of fiber, 
water, vitamins, and it takes time to chew and digest. A can of Coke has 39 grams of sugar with zero fiber, and you can slam it in 30 seconds. Your blood sugar spikes like you just hit the gas pedal on a sports car. Your pancreas dumps insulin into your bloodstream. Your kidneys go into complete overdrive. Then you crash, feel terrible, and crave more sugar to feel normal again. It's not about the sugar itself, it's about the delivery system. This matters to you because kidney disease is sneaky and irreversible. Once those nephrons are dead, they're gone forever. You can't get a transplant for mild kidney damage. You have to wait until you're in full kidney failure and on dialysis. That means being hooked up to a machine for four hours three times a week just to stay alive. Dialysis doesn't cure anything. It just keeps you from dying. Meanwhile, you wait for a transplant that might never come. The average life expectancy on dialysis is only 5 to 10 years. But here's the critical part. Early kidney damage is reversible. If you catch it before you've destroyed too many nephrons, your remaining ones can heal and work more efficiently. The problem is, most people have no idea their kidneys are struggling until it's way too late. You feel tired, but you blame your job or getting older. You're peeing more at night, but you figure it's just part of aging. Your ankles swell a little, but maybe your shoes are just tight. Meanwhile, your kidney function is dropping from 100% to 70% to 50%. By the time your doctor notices something's wrong in your blood work, you've already lost half your filtering capacity permanently. Here's my recommendation. Commit to 30 days with zero added sugar. Not low sugar, actually zero for 30 days. Read every label. If it has added sugar in the first three ingredients, it's out. Track three simple things every day. Your energy level when you wake up, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well you slept, and your weight. Those three markers will tell you everything. If you want hard data, ask for a basic metabolic panel before you start, and another one after 30 days. Check your creatinine, your GFR, that's glomerular filtration rate, and your A1C if you can get it. Expect days one through three to be miserable. You'll want to quit. You'll convince yourself this is too extreme. That's the addiction talking. Sugar literally activates the same reward centers in your brain as cocaine. The cravings are real. The withdrawal is real. Push through. By day four, the fog starts lifting. By day seven, you'll notice you're not thinking about sugar every five minutes. By day 14, you'll sleep better than you have in years. By day 30, you'll have actual proof that this works. This isn't about perfection forever or never eating birthday cake again. This is about giving your kidneys one month to show you what they're capable of when you stop poisoning them. The damage happens silently, but so does the healing. Unlike most health advice that takes years to show results, you'll know within 30 days whether this changes everything. Your body will tell you. Your energy will tell you. Your scale will tell you. And if you get that blood work done, the numbers will tell you. To recap, your kidneys can lose 70% of function before you feel anything wrong, which is why kidney disease sneaks up on millions of people. Sugar creates inflammation, damages your nephrons, raises your blood pressure, and traps you in a cycle that destroys your kidneys over time. But 30 days without added sugar lets your kidneys heal. Blood sugar stabilizes within a week. Sleep and energy improve by week two and actual biomarkers change by week three to four. This only works if you catch it early, before too many nephrons are permanently dead. The window for reversal is real, but it doesn't stay open forever. So here's what I want to know. If you tried 30 days without added sugar, what changes did you notice first? Better sleep, more energy, or something completely unexpected? And if you haven't tried it yet, what's really holding you back from giving your kidneys one month to prove what they can do?